Vlogmakers and welcome back. Today is Vlogmas Day 22 and today we're going to be doing another pregnancy update. It's my 35 week pregnancy update and at this point we only have three more weeks until delivery. Um, I deliver on January the 15th via C-section. For those of you that don't know, I am having a scheduled C-section. And I've also realized that I haven't done a baby haul at all since I've been pregnant. And so I thought I might as well just add in some of the things that we've got within the past week. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. <music> I normally film these pregnancy updates when my son is sleeping, but he's up right now. So I'm sorry if this video is all over the place. But anyways, I just weighed myself. I'm 142 pounds. As for cravings, I'm still craving a lot of dairy products. Those of you that don't know, I am going dairy free. Well, I am dairy free. Um, the reason that I'm doing that is for breastfeeding purposes. I had a lot of trouble with Wilder, so I'm just trying to eliminate all of those troubles i'm just going to eliminate dairy for a while um until me and the new baby have established breastfeeding well we're talking about your baby brother or sister so as for cravings yes dairy i'm craving a lot of dairy like reese's peanut butter cups oh my gosh i crave those so bad chocolate donuts really really bad and now i'm just like craving milk which is ridiculous because i've never craved that at all I really think it's a mind thing because I am going dairy free and it is a lot more difficult than I anticipated it would be. So I think it's my mind just playing tricks on me. But yeah, definitely dairy and a lot of sweets still. I crave like <clears throat> sour gummies and all that kind of stuff like regular gummies, Scooby Doo gummies. I really love those. Whatever happened to the blue Scooby-Doo gummies? Because they do not taste the same as they did whenever I was in third grade. So actually, I've noticed a few more stretch marks. And actually, I didn't notice it. Garrick actually pointed it out to me because I can't see, obviously, past like my bump right here. And so we were taking a shower like we always do every night when Wilder goes to bed. And he was like looking at my C-section scar from whenever I had Wilder. And he was like, did you notice these stretch marks like do they hurt like just asking questions because he doesn't really know you know he's a guy he doesn't know and I was like oh I haven't I didn't even notice those stretch marks he's like yeah they look they look like brand new he's like it's okay babe it's your tiger stripes whatever like I don't care that I have stretch marks it's just that is what has happened within this past week I've gotten a few um right down there where like my c-section scar is and yeah they don't bother me um you know, I never really got them with Wilder on my stomach, more like literally everywhere else, my boobs, my butt, my hips, everywhere else. But yeah, stretch marks are new and I've just been using coconut oil um, since I found out I've been pregnant. That's what I use with Wilder too. Um, I want to try the bio oil, but I guess it's a little late in the game to do that. So maybe if I have another pregnancy, I'll try that out. Restless nights still for sure are in full function. I It's literally an early night for me if I get in bed by 12 a.m. And it's it's just getting really annoying and ridiculous, especially since we've all like kind of been sick and Wilder's been waking up frequently throughout the night. So I've been going to bed at like... 12 1 1 30 and then waking up with him as well so i haven't really gotten much sleep a lot of it is due to pregnancy and like i talked about in my last update i believe i've just had a lot of anxiety recently and i think that's due to pregnancy as well so i'll just be caught up in my thoughts especially at nighttime and i feel like that's where it hits me hard is at nighttime and it really sucks because i don't get any sleep but yeah, restless nights for sure. Um, I remember talking about hormones. That's still um, pretty bad. I mean, it's not as bad as it was. Like, I mean, I was literally crying like every night for no reason. Now it's definitely let up a lot, which is really nice because it was driving me crazy. Like, do you have something to say, Diddy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyways, as I was saying before, I was interrupted. I was interrupted, and you moved the camera, too. Yeah, that's so rude. But yeah, the um, hormones, 
and what I mean by that is just like they've just been all over the place I was really really getting anxious all the time and just crying all the time for no reason and just I feel like I was snowballing negativity every time I'm getting these like bunks and it just was it was really getting ridiculous so I'm glad that it's let up a lot also TMI but I have realized a lot more discharge within the last week and I talked to my doctor about it and she said that's totally normal so that's good but that's definitely what I've noticed within this past week we're just getting so close to the due date and delivery and it really gives me like goosebumps because I'm so excited and Garrick and I were talking about it last night like our lives are about to change so much in just three short weeks and it's just it's crazy it's so exciting to think about I've been having Braxton Hicks contractions like crazy it definitely within this past like two or three days I've really been noticing them get really strong what are you doing but yeah the Braxton Hicks contractions are <clears throat> definitely pretty strong I'm having like the round ligament pain and um, also back pain I talked about that before um, but the back pain is still there it's mostly my lower back which a lot of pregnant women get but yeah it's super uncomfortable it I just want to pop my back so freaking bad and I've been to the chiropractor, not this pregnancy, but the pregnancy with Wilder, and it didn't help at all, so I just, like, completely skipped it, this pregnancy, because, number one, I don't want to take a toddler, I don't want to take Wilder to, you know, get adjusted, especially if it doesn't really help, so I just thought that I would just forget it altogether, but I really wish that I could pop my back. I have been having to have help, like, having to have help. I remember talking about this, like, a few <clears throat> updates back where I like wanted the help and like I was getting to that point where I was getting pretty uncomfortable and I just wanted help getting up and stuff when Garrick was available but now it's like Garrick I need help out of the bathtub like I cannot do it right now I need help pregnancy is so crazy I know I say that all the time but it really is like you're growing this little human inside of you it's so incredible also I use this pregnancy app well, I use a lot of different pregnancy apps, but the one that I really gravitate towards is like the Ovia pregnancy app. And right now it says baby number two is now about the size of a ripe papaya. A fruit as sweet as baby number two. And you can like pick your themes. Weird but cute animals. Baby number two is about the size of a chihuahua. For their size, chihuahuas have huge brains. Their skulls have a soft spot too, just like baby number two. There's like different themes that you can pick, which aren't always like realistic, but it's just fun to kind of see like, you know, how big this app is saying that your baby might be. And then it also shows like the tiny baby, tiny hand. You guys can't see that. My phone is cracked and I'm all the way over here, but like it shows how big your baby's hand would be on your phone, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, baby is about the size of a chihuahua and a papaya. I don't know how true that is, but anyways, I have another appointment coming up on Friday, so stay tuned for that. Also, I've gotten a lot of questions asking if I'm gonna be vlogging, taking pictures, etc. when we are at the hospital, and yes, we do not plan on taking any breaks we plan on trying to get as much and capturing as much as we can um, to share with you guys, obviously, but to keep for ourselves as a memory for us. We didn't get to do that with Wilder, so we are super excited. We definitely plan on, you know, uploading, editing, posting, everything while we're in the hospital. We are super excited for that, so definitely stay tuned for labor and delivery, vlogs, pictures, everything, even though... I won't really have a labor unless I go into labor on my own. It will be a scheduled C-section, but still stay tuned because we are super, super pumped for that. We still haven't picked a name. That's another question I get a lot. We have not picked a name. I know we have like three weeks. I'm telling you guys, we probably won't until we get to the hospital. Like with Wilder, it was so different. We found out a gender as soon as we could. Um, we did like the blood test and we picked his name pretty early on in the game We just had everything like planned out. We had a baby shower. We had the whole nine yards This time we just kind of wanted everything to you know take its course 
we wanted the gender to be a surprise. We're, we're so excited for it. Like, I literally cannot tell you how bad I want to know their gender. I just cannot express to you how excited I am for Garrick to just announce we're having a boy or we're having a girl. Like, that just gives me goosebumps. And I know that it's going to be so, so, so worth this long wait of not finding out the gender. But yeah, as I was saying, we don't know a name and we still don't know the gender. No, 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 no. Oh, Lord. But yeah, we still don't know a name. We still don't know the gender. Um, it's just all going to kind of play out. Another thing I wanted to mention is my boobs are still leaking, which is a good sign, I think. Um, but yeah, my boobs are still leaking, which really gives me hope. You guys know how bad I want to breastfeed this time around if you watch my updates. And yeah, I really need to get a breast pump. I've been looking and searching for, you know, the right one. If any of you guys have any recommendations for like a breast pump that you are die hard for, comment below and let me know. I'm really interested in like a portable one in case I have to pump for something when we're gone. Something that Wilder has done recently that I wanted to mention is he's been like pointing at my belly and like, because my belly button is obviously an Audi now which it was in any before pregnancy. And so every time I like have my shirt off or I'm in a sports bra or whatever, he is always pointing and poking at my belly and just like rubbing my belly, patting my belly. It's just so cute. I know he doesn't understand fully like what's going on, but it's just, it's the most precious thing ever. And he is moving the camera right now, I'm sorry. I can't wait for him to meet his baby brother or sister. I am just, I'm super pumped for that. I'm kind of worried, not worried, but like I'm anxious to know how he's gonna do with a newborn. Um, we went and saw one of my really good friends. She just recently had a baby and we went and saw them in the hospital. And he didn't really like care or notice or anything like that. Garrick was holding him and um, Wilder didn't really care very much, but obviously he's going to know like something is different once we bring a newborn home. I'm just hoping that everything runs smoothly. I swear that's one of the things that I'm really, really anxious about is that. And number two, I'm really anxious to leave him for those three days. Um, Garrick really wants to have him in the hospital with us, which we might for one of those days or so. But I know it's going to be really hectic, especially having a C-section. But yeah, we are really nervous to leave him just because we haven't yet. And I don't know. I just, I don't want to spend the night away from him. I just, I miss him too much whenever he's napping. I don't know. I'm just one of those moms and I can't help it. But yeah, I feel like I'm more nervous about those two things than even having my C-section in the first place. Or your sister. This is a good seat for you. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is all for my 35 week pregnancy update. I just scooted you guys in a lot closer so I could show you guys a haul of some of the things that we've gotten recently. So yeah, the first thing that we're really excited about is the Dock is Hot, of course. We actually had this with Wilder, but and there's probably like fingerprints all over the case because Wilder's been jumping all over it. If you have toddlers, then you know how it is. But anyways, yeah, we're really excited. It didn't really work with Wilder, um, but we didn't really give it the time of day. Um, we were really new parents and we just, we didn't, we didn't allow it enough time for him to acclimate to it and like it. Everyone swears by it, so this time around we're really, really excited to try the Dog Tot. Obviously, Wilder's wilder obviously the new baby is going to be co-sleeping with us for at least the first six months maybe more um just because we're going to be breastfeeding we did co-sleep with wilder as well we didn't have a docketot or a co-sleeper or anything like that so um a lot of the time and he had reflux so a lot of the time he slept in the crook of like my elbow and i just remember it hurting so bad all the time and so i'm just excited to have the Dock is hot and just have a place for the new baby in our bed. We're just, we're super pumped for that. So there's that. We really need to get a cover for it, but 
number one, they're really, really expensive, like ridiculously expensive. And number two, I just haven't found one that we liked yet. But I wanted to show you what the new baby is going to be wearing home from the hospital, which is really exciting. Or maybe not home from the hospital, but one of the first outfits I want to put him or her in. Just a cute gender, just a cute gender neutral outfit. It says, love made me. It's not even a onesie, it's like a sleeper. Um, it's really, really cozy. It's by Modern Burlap. And it comes with this cute little top knot hat. I really, really, really love top knot hats. I don't know what it is, but they're so cute to me. So we have this little outfit, which is literally my favorite. It even comes with like the little like hand sleepers. I remember with Wilder, we had mittens, but they wouldn't fit on his hands. Like they would just fall off. We ended up putting like socks on him and I just like, it was just ridiculous because we didn't have many of these. And we didn't bring them. To the hospital so i'm really glad that these come with the little hand thing so the next few things that we bought i i might have showed this actually in a vlog but this wasn't that recent but i wanted to show it to you guys because it's so cute and i'm pretty sure we're gonna bring this to the hospital as well but it's just like a cute gender neutral newborn outfit um well actually like three of them I don't know how much the new baby is going to actually be in outfits because we do plan on swaddling. Wilder loved being swaddled. He was rarely not swaddled. Do you want that? Okay, you can have it. Also, we got these. These were actually purchased for us. This is just like a little lamb. Um, these are little elephants. And then we have, oh gosh, we have some pants look at that little lamb that is so freaking cute and then we have these that match um gosh i can't even bend over that match these little onesies gender neutral onesies um i'm not really the biggest fan of like onesies and pants and everything with a newborn because it's just a lot of like extra work for yourself to do laundry number one keep up with like the outfit number two and to just diaper changes <laughs> number three i don't know but they are really cute and this is really good material so i'm excited for it but normally i would just keep wilder and like a sleeper um these are just some things that were hung up that garrick really really likes i don't know why this is just like a little bunny outfit and it is a little sleeper as well and then this is just like a little gender neutral outfit you see all of these i don't know why i keep saying that this is gender neutral yeah they're all gender neutral zoe and this is so cute oh my gosh it comes with a little bib i know i said i don't really like onesies and pants but like i said these are really good quality and so soft and just they're really cute this is actually a shirt and pants not a onesie and pants but um they're pants and then it comes with a little giraffe shirt and then it also comes with a little i think it's a giraffe bib or zebra whatever that is it's really cute really soft and yeah i love it and also we just have like gender new if i say gender neutral one more time i have these like plain onesies i don't know why this was in there because this is zero to three month and i was kind of just showing you the newborn stuff we got but this is like more six to nine months it's really cute it's sweet it's gender neutral this is just like all of like the stuff that i need to wash so this was just in there i guess um this is just a white onesie and then blue and gray the last thing is this i really can't figure out where we got this or how long we really had this but i'm really excited for it it's so cozy it's really soft it's just like a um a swaddle it is a little bit bigger but we will be having the baby in january and that's when it will get cold here in florida like around january february and so i'm just this is just so soft like it's just like a little sack so soft it's so sweet i love the colors so i'm really excited for this as well but that is pretty much all for the baby haul, um, at least for like what we've recently bought. 
or received as a gift so i figured i would show it to you guys but anyways that is all for my 35 week pregnancy update again i'm sorry this is all over the place wilder is running around like a little chicken if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have not already don't forget to click your notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos thank you guys so much for watching we will see you tomorrow and keep it christmas <laughs>